Hello friends, welcome to Neat World. As you can see, this is the question from JE Advanced 2025. The question says, three students S1, S2, S3 are given a problem. Consider the events. They were given events U, V, W, T. Okay. Then they were given probability of U, probability of V, and probability of W. Okay. But we have to find the probability of T. They are asking us to find the probability of T. Probability of T. So for such questions, the better approach is to use the Venn diagram approach. So let us use that approach. So this will be what? Let this be S1, let this be S2, let this be S3 and let us represent the probabilities A, B, C, D, E, F and let this be G. Okay, let this H represent the probability of event not happening. So they were given first one probability of U at least one of S1, S2, S3 can solve the problem. That means what? All of them should be added because they are telling at least one of them. That means at least one of them will solve the problem. That means what? A plus, B plus, C plus, D plus, E plus, F plus, G that is given as what half so, so similarly if i write h the probability of h will be equal to half because even not happening even happening is half even not happening is 1 minus half that will be half itself next they are asking s1 can solve the problem given that neither s1 s2 or s3 can solve the problem that means what probability of s1 given that s2 union s3 is not solving the problem okay that means what sample space will have what will the sample space that i will have i will have the sample space that is s2 and s3 are not solving the problem means sample space will be a plus h and S1 that is S1 is solving the problem means probability is A ok. So this will be equal to what this this is probability of V they have given it equal to 1 by 10. Now if I simplify this I will get it as 10 times A will be equal to A plus H, H is nothing but equal to what half ok. This implies if I solve this I will get the value of A is equal to 1 by 18. Now similarly they have given S2 can solve the problem and S3 cannot solve the problem. So S2 can solve the problem but S3 cannot solve the problem. So S2 means I should add B and D. So this will give me what? This will give me B plus D is equal to what? What is that that they have given? B plus D is equal to 1 by 12. Now they are asking us to define P of T. P of T means what? S3 can solve the problem. That means S3 can solve the problem means I should add everything within the circle of S3. That is nothing but equal to what? C plus E plus G plus C plus E plus G plus F ok already we have here C plus E plus G plus F ok remaining is what A plus B plus D I have to remove from this so that means it is equal to what half minus A minus B minus D ok B minus D so this gives me what half minus A is nothing but equal to 1 by 18 ok B plus D minus if I take it outside this will become B plus D that will be equal to what 1 by 12 ok on solving this what I will get it I will get it as LCM will be 36 on top I will get it as 18 minus 3 minus 2 that is nothing but equal to 3 minus 2 that is nothing but equal to 13 friends. So the answer to this question is option A 13 by 36 that is all is the answer to this question stay tuned for more such questions thank you.